Our hearts beat to the city streets. We begin to feel the fire. Tinubu, the Nigerian president, has reacted to the protests that was held by Nigerians over hardship. We are yet to nurture Tinubu's shocking speech. We are yet to assimilate, to understand what he said in this his live broadcast addressing the present need, the issues Nigerians are facing. The Nigerian Senate President, Gosul Apabu, worsened everything with his preposterous speech he made here. Guys, you see this video, it's not something you want to miss watch to the end because at the end of the day you will know that these people don't care let me officially welcome you all back again to my youtube channel in case you're watching for the first time this is loudly just love our youtube thank you for watching and tuning in and to my attorney beautiful wonderful handsome awesome amazing subscribers returning subscribers you guys are the real mvps thank you so so much for your massive support and always watching and please remember to subscribe to my youtube channel in case you're watching for the first time and turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime i drop new videos and in case you're following all along you are yet to turn on your bell notification please do that right away now now before you forget let's go there our economy is going through a tough patch and you are being hurt by it i know the cost of fuel has gone up food and other prices have followed it households and businesses struggling things seems anxious and uncertain i understand the hardship you face i wish there were other ways but there is not if there were i would have taken that route as i came here to help not to hurt the people and the nation that I love so dearly. What I can offer in the immediate is to reduce the burden of current economic situation, which has imposed on all of us, most especially on businesses. The we have heard him. He said, there is no other route to this thing to curtail what Nigerians are facing, to curtail the hardship, the high cost of living, the high cost of food, the, in fact, literally everything. There is nothing he can do about it. Shena, like this we go day. Hmm. Okay, oh, listen to gospel at Babu. You see this one that he said here? Ah, it just do me like, make I bring this man and make I, anyways, guys, listen to him. This is you can see a lot of sponsored protests here and there where those people are not aware the, most of those uh, most of those sponsored protests are not aware of the kind of efforts being made by this senate continue listening to him oh but did i hear did i just hear sponsored protests hey to tackle the situation together with the joint management team of the federal government of Nigeria. There is no father that wants to see his child sleep in the night without food, with a stomach rumbling. So we must provide. That's why I said we must not limit our discussion to, oh, we will not import food, we will not do this. Wherever we can find food to put on the table of Nigerians, we shall do so. It's an emergency situation. Like the Senator Lalong pointed out, it's an uncommon situation which has been exhibited by many factors from COVID-19 to insecurity to the inflation to even what uh, Senator Abiru pointed out, the ways and means of 30 trillion so that put so much pressure on the Central Bank of Nigeria and left a, big, a very big gap in the financial situation so that if this government that inherited the situation tries to fill the gap, it means people will not eat salaries will not be paid nothing will be done until the gap is filled is uh, we are well we we have taken it and we must move on we must move on we must move on so let us look at the 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 recommendations and see whether they are far reaching enough if they are not this is a bit this the devil center person you are presiding have you even said a word on this and then and then please say something Thank you, Mr. President. But all children cannot know. Mr. President, as you commended, and uh, I must say that unverified report 
has it that each of the state governments in the last few months have received additional 30 billion i continue listening to him oh but unverified reports coming from this man a senate president is he not a nigerian is he not in the government is he not living in nigeria so why the unverified reports says who who made the reports from who to who this is the worst and the most disappointing speech from a senate president to nigerians from the federal inland revenue service outside their normal allocations from the federation account outside their normal allocations to assist them in ameliorating the food situation so we believe that every state government should utilize the funds so received towards ensuring that food is available in the country so the state governments have a lot to do they are closest to the people and i don't want to mention local government because most local governments are controlled by the state governors so my belief is that if the state governments do what is needful then the local governments in turn will only be involved in sharing to make sure that these things get to the people but we must not uh, overlook the fact that nigerians are not going to be interested in uh, stories nigerians want to see action and that is why i commend the joint committees for the recommendations that they have done and i commend the senators who are constantly going back home almost every weekend to assist to make sure that you reduce whatever sufferings but they assure the people that this government will do everything possible that's why i said no policy will be exclusive or excluded we, this is an emergency situation nigerians want to eat food and we are going to provide food for them the government will have no excuse despite what we met on ground met what on ground met what on ground exactly did people that voted them voted them for them to come and be giving them excuses from one excuse to another get to work man people are hungry get to work get to work and stop all these excuses 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 what you met on ground buari's regime buari this buari that for crying out loud that being said the part where he mentioned state governments local governments is another thing that needs to be looked into that aside when he mentioned that the protests are being sponsored protests that took place in different states are being sponsored my jaw drops ghost pimples all over my body who sponsored them so he wants to tell us that people that are crying that they are hungry are literally lying right there is no hunger in town they are deceiving themselves right okay look at the way he contradicted himself when he made mention that he will make sure that food will be available for everybody nigerians don't need and don't want excuses they're not even ready to listen to excuses except results now you see the reason why some parts one tribe among the three tribes of nigeria the easterners to be precise don't want to involve themselves in this ongoing protests before they will use them as an excuse they will lay hand on that one before they will call them ipop before they will say they are the ones because their supposed presidential candidates did not win now you see how they confirm their instincts just look at it i was even expecting him to maneuver that to jump you know not even go to that path at all just forget about it so that people will not say eh hey, we will talk him. look at the way he just boom fell inside the whole thing like that hmm. now, wow just now wow. now you see this video this happened in the north dangote truck now so they just wore lamb like this they drag the food they pack food enter house dangote truck <laughs> Hey, hey, hey if these people don't take time see anarchy hey, hey. see them see anarchy people go just they drag the bull by the horn mm. they don't go even send waiting one happen 
If you want buy, buy, you don't go buy everybody finish. If you buy everybody finish, who you go govern? If you buy everybody finish, only them not feel live for these words. A time like this will come if they don't apply every necessary measures to make sure that all these complaints, all this hunger are being taken care of. Waiting they pay me now, we see. After eight years elapsed, some tribe, some tribes, some people, some people will still vote because the person that came out or comes out is the person. They will vote for favor, favorism, nepotism, man no man, at the detriment of the innocent Nigerians. It is well low. It is just well. God, be cool and please do not take the sin of other people to remember the innocent ones. The innocent ones, so be cool, see us through. Hmm? Save us. Be cool, now beg and they beg. This suffering is too much. This hunger is too much. That being said, guys, that brings me to the end of this video. Please do give this video a massive thumbs up and remember to smash on your red subscribe button to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Turn on your notification bell to always get notified anytime I drop new video or videos on this channel. We react analyze, we give trending just celebrity news, true crime and true crime stories, and to my attorney wonderful awesome awesome amazing subscribers you guys are the real mvps thank you so so much for your massive support and always watching bye bye for now as i'm signing out for my next one peace out i love you all okay messi anungwano bye i like to be educated but i'm so frustrated